Hello and good day, I'm Molly and this is Rocket Boom. Today we are ready to tell you about another site we are working on around here. Now that we have the studio production thing down, we're also building a video platform called Magma. Remember the TV guide? Funny enough, if you wanted to know what was going to be playing on television, you didn't go to the actual TV, you went to the TV guide. Throughout most of the history of TV, there were only a few stations anyway, so if you wanted to know what was on right then, you could just go to your knob and dial in an option. When cable came about, we moved from a knob to a numerical keypad to accommodate all of the new choices. Today, watching television has become a real problem, and a single numerical keypad doesn't cut it anymore. Not only do people have TV sets, DVRs, cable, DVD players for Netflix, or maybe a Blu-ray, you have the internet, where everything is moving. Now you need an alphanumerical keyboard to search out what you're looking for on YouTube, Hulu, or iTunes, to name but a few. And with the internet, the number of options has exploded, but also become decentralized. While YouTube, Hulu, and iTunes are a few of the bigger players, companies are moving more towards distribution on their own sites, like the New York Times or CNN. So we created Magma, to bring all of this content together into one place and back to a single button. It's your contemporary guide to what's on, a new entry point into TV. When you first land on the Magma website, you will see this top section called Must Watch, which shows you the most up-and-coming videos around the internet. This video, for instance, is being heavily talked about on Twitter, Dig, and Reddit, and then it made it into the top videos to watch on YouTube, and thus it's generating a lot of sharing and conversation right at this moment. The videos in this Must Watch section tend to be found by Magma early in their rise to fame, so if you want to discover what's going to be popular before it hits the masses, this is a great place to monitor. You can see the most popular Hulu videos, the most popular YouTube videos, Vimeo, and so on. We have also taken this further by organizing videos based on popularity, right now, across social networks like Dig and Reddit, or based on the chatter found on Twitter, blogs, etc. In other words, if you want to know what videos everyone on Twitter is talking about right now, the Twitter video list is the one to follow. We've also brought in videos from all around the net, including New York Times, TED videos, and even staff picks and selections from active users. That's an overview of the homepage, but the site goes much deeper. You can also create an account and use Magma to collect videos. Collecting is hard to do anywhere else because YouTube, Hulu, and other sites don't talk to each other. But with Magma, you can keep your favorite videos from all over in one place. For example, by clicking on the Add a Video button, any video on Magma will become part of your collection. You can rename the video and create your own description if you would like, and give it your own organizational category. In your settings, you'll see that you can auto-tweet your finds as well, or share your new videos on Facebook, Tumblr, or other places. And if you find a video that's not already on Magma, you can use the Magma bookmarklet to bring the video into Magma yourself with just one simple click. Just drag the Magma bookmarklet into your browser toolbar, and then anytime you're around the net and want to add a video, just click the button, and that's it. You can tell your friends to check out your video collection at magma slash your name, and you can also use our widget to add your collection to your own blog or website, which is pretty neat. Thus, whenever you add a new video, it instantly appears on your site. Not to mention, for every page of videos, you can add a .rss to the end of the URL to get an RSS rendition if you like to use feed readers or want to build some interesting stuff. There's also an open API for any programmers out there. And just like other social networks, you can follow me and I can follow you. One person I like to follow is Andrew, because he's always finding cool Japanese videos. Whenever he adds a video to his own account, it appears in my dashboard, or I can just go to magma slash Andrew slash Japan to see his collection. In fact, when I log into Magma, the first place I like to go is my dashboard, because that's where I find the most relevant videos for my own personal interests, the videos from my friends. That's discovery, collecting, and sharing. But there is another aspect to the site which is only just beginning to take shape. Tracking. If you have ever put a video on the internet, you know the next thing you tend to do is track the video to see if anyone is watching it and to see what they are saying about it. Most people put their videos on YouTube and can watch the view count and comments. If you happen to add your video to other places too, like Vimeo for instance, you have to go over to Vimeo to check the views and comments there too. Views, comments, favorites, video responses, these are all indicators of how people are responding to your videos. And the more chatter that's out there, the harder it is to track. And in today's social media landscape, there's a lot more to monitor than just the chatter from video distribution systems. What about all of the mainstream news organizations who might write about your work? Or the blogs with articles about your work? For every blog, there might be comments and related information to gather too. What about Facebook chatter and tweets on Twitter? How are you going to go around to Tumblr, TweetMe, Bitly, Google, IceRocket, Viral Video Chart, Dig Delicious, on and on and on, and then figure out demographically who all these people are and what they're saying? Magma. 
coming soon, as this is where all our development efforts currently lay, you will notice that chatter is tracked from all over the internet in real time. In this example, you can see that the same video was found 10 times on YouTube, two copies were found on Break, and one on Vimeo. You can see the cumulative stats across all 13 videos, and you can click here to see all 3,456 comments aggregated in one spot. Below the fold, you can see this gets really extensive, with a real-time feed of chatter from all around the net. You can click on this one line that says 13 new digs to see all 13 people who digged it. And over here you can see how popular it is on Reddit, Twitter, StumbleUpon, etc. This information will be free for anyone, so if you upload videos to the internet, you may find Magma to be the number one best place to track your work. Statistics are great for publishers and market researchers, but what's cool about all of this is that it's just a consequence of what you wind up with when you design a site that's made for people. YouTube, Hulu and iTunes are all great systems and do the heavy lifting of distribution, but their purpose for existence was to seek publishers first and users second. Magma is for users first. If you want to figure out what to watch in today's world of content, you may not find the TV Guide useful. Magma is designed to become the new entry point to TV. So yeah, we're all pretty excited about this, and we're still working on it, but the site is up and running, so give it a try. You can follow me at magma slash mimimolly.